Ever since humans learned the use of fire, they also faced the main hazards of fire. That led to the development of various techniques of firefighting. From plain and simple water to the more complex dry chemical powders and gases. On shore, major fires are attended to by firefighters who are a dedicated team of experts in the field and use the latest techniques and equipment for combating fire. Out at sea, the situation is very different and the crew has to combat all fires with limited resources. Ship's crew are therefore specially trained and certified for firefighting and also in the use of the firefighting appliances designed for use at sea. In response to the sinking of the Titanic in 1912, the first fire protection requirements for international shipping were developed as part of the 1914 SOLAS Convention. SOLAS, that is, Safety of Life at Sea, contains regulations covering ship construction, fire protection, fire detection and fire extinction. Various features relate to fire protected structures like fire integrity of bulkheads and fire resistant doors, fire detection systems like heat, smoke and flame detectors and reporting systems like fire alarms. SOLAS also contains guidelines on fixed fire fighting systems like the main and emergency fire pumps, foam and carbon dioxide flooding systems and portable fire fighting appliances like hoses, foam, dry chemical and carbon dioxide extinguishers. It also covers fireman's outfits, fire control plans, inert gas systems, etc. For a fire to occur, there has to be an unbroken chain reaction between three components. Heat, oxygen and a combustible material or fuel. To fight the fire, one of the components of the fire triangle must be removed to break the chain reaction between them. These are fires fires caused by burning of inflammable liquids. To extinguish these fires, foam should be applied to flow evenly and progressively over the burning surface, avoiding undue agitation. Direct the foam jet against any vertical surface adjacent to the fire. 
if no vertical surface is available, then foam should be advanced in oscillating sweeps with the wind, taking care to avoid plunging it into the liquid. Foam has a smothering effect on the fire, depriving it of oxygen. Foam is made up of foam concentrate mixed with water and supplied with air through a foam generator. Foams are defined according to their expansion ratio, which is the ratio of final foam volume to original foam solution volume before the addition of air. Heavy foam with a ratio of approximately 1 is to 10 has a long air throw and is used extensively on board. Medium foam with an approximate ratio of 1 is to 100 has a moderate air throw and is used on tankers where long throws are not required. Light foam with an approximate ratio of 1 is to 1000 has a short throw and is used in vessels like car carriers where it is required to fill a large compartment. It is also used in vessels fitted with fixed foam systems on deck and in compartments like engine rooms and pump rooms. Foam can also be efficiently used on Class A fires but never on electrical fires. Class C fires are gas fires and are extinguished by stopping the gas flow. In order to reach and close the valve controlling the flow of gas, water spray is used as a shield to protect the personnel against radiant heat. In case the gas flow cannot be stopped, water spray is used to cool and control the effect of heat to the surroundings. Class D fires involve combustible metals like magnesium, sodium, potassium, uranium and powdered aluminium. Special dry chemical powder extinguishers containing sodium compounds are used to extinguish these fires. The heat of the fire causes the dry powder to cake and form an exterior crust which cuts off the air from the burning surface and extinguishes the fire. These are electrical fires caused by short circuit, overheating or spreading of a fire from elsewhere and are efficiently extinguished by carbon dioxide extinguishers. Carbon dioxide extinguishers can also be used for extinguishing Class B inflammable liquid fires and hence are usually found on the ship's bridge, galley and near electrical installations. Carbon dioxide displaces oxygen and can prove to be harmful to firefighters in enclosed spaces. Hence, breathing apparatus sets must always be used in such situations. Dry powder extinguishers are usually rated for multiple purpose use. They contain an extinguishing agent and use a compressed, non-inflammable gas as a propellant. The dry powder discharged against a fire acts as an inhibitor and breaks the chain reaction in the fire triangle. Dry powder extinguishers can be used for efficiently extinguishing Class A, B and E fires. They are, however, extremely corrosive to electronic equipment. 